be here in Tulsa at this beautiful resort, the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. It all goes down Saturday, January 29th, two days from tonight. Two days from tonight. That makes a lot of sense, but we're just going to keep moving with it. The undercards begin at 5 o'clock Central Time on ESPN+. Plus, and then we switch over to the network at 9 p.m. Central Time on ESPN. So much in store. It is a huge card. 11 fights on the card here in Tulsa. Our main event is a 10-round junior lightweight eliminator battle between undefeated sensation Xavier Martinez and Brazil's Olympic gold medalist Robson Conceição. That is our main event. Our co-main, a 10-round junior lightweight battle as well between René Tellez Hiron and Luis Melendez sitting beside me. Again, everything gets started at 5 p.m. Central. Uh, joining me on stage right now, Luis Melendez, Jeremiah Milton, born and raised here in Tulsa, Nico Ali Walsh. Uh, their opponents are not with us. This gives us an opportunity to just get these guys one-on-one -on -one and talk about all things this weekend. Uh, Luis, let's just start with you, man. This is another big Mexico-Puerto Rico battle here in Tulsa. How you feeling? Welcome. Thank you, Bob. I just want to thank God. I want to thank, you know, my team, my coaches. I want to thank my manager, Henry Rivalta, Rivalta Boxing. I want to thank my sponsors, RYU. And I feel great. I, I, you know, I want to thank God, God, um, Brad Goodman, Todd Rand for the opportunity, ESPN. And I feel I'm happy. I'm excited to showcase my talent and leave with, leave with the victory. A lot of people are talking about your bout already, and we're going to talk more about it. Jeremiah, home turf, man. How does it feel to be fighting on ESPN in Tulsa? Tulsa, Oklahoma, we back in the house. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you guys know me, Jeremiah Milton. Uh, I fought here last year. Uh, it was a very exciting card to be on. Top rank, that is. Um, really good promotional company. Want to shout out my team, Victory Sports, uh, and my promoter, Tony Holden, for also giving me the opportunity to be out here today. Um, yeah, it feels good to be home, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got my family here. Uh, about to be broadcast to the world to see me again. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. Awesome. Nico, you started here, man. You made your professional debut, and here we are again. I was with you the evening of your professional debut, and we're back. How you feeling? I feel great, and, uh, you know, I mean, I think it's, it's amazing to be back in Tulsa. This place now has a special place in my heart because my first time ever being here was for my pro debut. It was a success, and uh, I'm just so excited to put on another great show. We're excited. Uh, three of you are definitely going to put on a great show for us Saturday night. Jeremiah, you've had a couple of opponents now in and out. What's that been like for your mindset with opponents changing? Is anything, you know, change for you in camp, your mindset? What's it like when, when you, you think you're facing one guy and then the next day you find out you're facing somebody else? And that's happened numerous times getting us to Saturday. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, by the time I took off on the plane and by the time I landed, I'd already had a new opponent, a uh, new face. It's the same case. Uh, so, uh, you know, just shout out to my team for making sure that, you know, the, the event continued and um, making sure that we can continue to just showcase what we've been working on. I, I've been fighting, you know what I'm saying? I've been sparring with the best. So uh, I just got to go out there no matter who they put in front of me and do what I do. Give some props to some of the guys you've been sparring with, some of the sparring sessions. I love when guys talk about their sparring sessions because I think that sets us up for what we're going to see. Uh, who you've been throwing with? Give them, give them some love on uh, on our press conference. Today. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, so uh, top guys in the world. You know, I've shared the ring with the likes of Tyson Fury, who is the world champion. Um, I shared the likes with Frank Ch Sanchez. A lot of guys in the top ten. Uh, more recently, you know, I got guys like Johnny Rice. Uh, you know, a lot of local guys in Vegas. Um, Skyler, Rob. Uh, you know, those are my personal good sparring partners back home. But. But yeah. yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Give those local guys some love, man. Luis, you had a big win over Matisse not too long ago. How's camp been with uh, Chris Colbert? Yeah, camp's been really good. good. <clears throat> Real great. Like, I'm, I'm ready. You're ready. ready. It's as simple as that. Yeah. You're just like, I'm ready. Get me in the ring. Yeah. Man of man of few words, but ready to rock and roll. I get it. No, no problem. Hey, Nico, last time out, I think for you, it was probably your toughest challenge in your short career. I think you would agree. I think everybody who watched that fight, you know, hey, you know. It was a battle. Uh, what would you take away from that fight, and what little changes and tweaks can we see this weekend? Um, well, first off, um, I learned a ton from that fight. And, uh, you know, people say that you learn more from your losses than your wins. And, uh, you know, when you get a fight that was as tough as my last fight, that I, I take that as an, an experience of learning. So 
this time around, I think you will see a ton of new improvements. And uh, when you have fights like that, tough fights like that, all you can do is improve. You know, you, you can't go backwards after, after a fight like that. And I'm looking forward to showing you the, uh, the progression since then. This is your fifth fight now. And, uh, you know, obviously you're, you're in it. You're starting to feel this rhythm, the groove going from fight to fight. How's the pressure been? Uh, you know, everybody talks about the GOAT, you know, your grandfather. Is that something that's starting to take a back seat a little bit? Or is this something that you still carry with you at the forefront and, and you feel that pressure uh, hanging over you every time you enter the ring? Well, you know, I don't feel the pressure. The, the pressure's been there my whole life, even when I wasn't boxing. But, you know, I, I don't think that sets me aside from anyone else because everyone's got someone that they look up to and uh, they, they box because of them or for them or, you know. Um, so, you know, even, even the people I'm sharing the stage with now, I'm sure – both these guys have people that they look up to and they think about when they step into the ring. And that's just, that's my case. And in this case, it happens to be my grandfather. Great. Talk about Tulsa for a minute, because this is something special that not only you guys get the opportunity to do our ring girls, myself, we're spoiled. You know, uh, I love what I do. And I imagine the same applies to you guys as fighters. You absolutely love what you do. You get into the ring and risk your lives, though. That's a big difference. I get to stand behind a microphone and sometimes even put makeup on my face. You guys walk into a ring and somebody across from you is ready to throw down. But what's it mean to you to be here in Tulsa Saturday night and have the opportunity to do what you love? Yo, I mean, it's, it's serious business. I mean, Tulsa is a city that raised me. Uh, this is where I got my roots from. This is where I got my confidence, you know, my walk. Uh, so anywhere I go, you know, I'm always shouting out my city. And uh, so it's amazing that I get to come here and put my um, talents on a world level, you know, and on a, on a platform as big as this for the world to see me. But I'm doing it in my hometown. So after the fight, I give my mom a hug, you know what I'm saying? And <laughs> Nothing good. better than giving mom a hug. Yeah, yeah. Luis, what about you? If, there was, if you weren't a fighter, what would you be doing? I don't know. Probably <laughs> basketball player, uh, some other sport. S some other some sport. sport yeah. I, so as a kid, I've been, no, all type of, I've done every type of sport. What's it mean to you to be sitting on this stage at the Hard Rock Hotel, the ESPN top ranked banner behind means you? Means a lot. It means I'm a lot. really grateful for the opportunity to be able to be here in Tulsa, ESPN. I mean, call main event. What else? What else? <laughs> what kind of statement are you going to make Saturday night? We just got to see. Just wait and see. Nico, any last words from you before we get to weigh-ins tomorrow? Uh, you know, it's not my hometown like Jeremiah. I think that's so exciting. Uh, but it, it feels somewhat like home because this is where this is my birth of my pro career. Yeah. So I'm super excited to be back here, and I just can't wait to show you all the improvements. All right, everybody tuning in. Like I said, a huge card Saturday night, 11 fights three amazing fighters sitting beside me thank you guys for taking time i'm going to ask you now to just leave your microphones on your seat make your way to the edge of the stage for the greatest in the game mikey williams is going to shoot you right now take a few pictures and then we are going to bring up our main event everybody tuning in stand by main event press conference minutes away
All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your patience and, and welcome back. Again, a huge main event. It is a junior lightweight eliminator between undefeated sensation Xavier Martinez and Olympic gold medalist from Brazil, Robson Conceição. His translator, Sergio, will be off stage here. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, let's start with you, Robson. It's, uh, but you're back in the main event after four months, four months back into the fight, a big fight against Valdez. What did you learn about yourself from that fight going toe to toe against the champ? Depois de quatro meses você está de volta no evento principal da grande luta com o Valdez. O que que se aprendeu daquela luta? É, primeiramente, boa tarde a todos. Obrigado a ESPN, a Top Rank por estar fazendo esse grande evento. Então, é, contra o Oscar Valdez foi uma grande luta, uma grande preparação. É, eu fui muito injustiçado, mas eu saio de cabeça erguida porque sei que os fanáticos do boxe acreditam na minha vitória, assim como eu e toda a minha equipe. First of all, thank you to everybody. Thank you, Top Rank. Thank you, ESPN, for the other opportunity for this great event. What I learned from uh, the fight against Valdez was a great fight, but the result was not fair with me. The fans know that I won the fight, but... I'm keep my head up and I will show that I am the man. Is that motivation that you keep with me, this, this constant feeling that, that, you know, the judges did you wrong, you didn't get the right call, is that what's now motivating you even more coming into this weekend's fight? Você acha que essa decisão injusta te motiva a querer mais e, e principalmente vir para essa luta mais motivado? Com toda certeza, até porque eu sei que estou no caminho certo, que minha preparação foi muito bem feita e eu saí de cima do ringue totalmente feliz e muito motivado para lutar contra os melhores do mundo. E assim está sendo agora, vou lutar contra um atleta muito experiente, muito bom e eu espero que seja um grande combate. Yes, for sure, I'm motivated. Uh, I walk out of the ring very happy and I had a big training camp, very good in Vegas. Now I will face a very tough opponent, very experienced, and it makes me feel happier. And I hope that can be a great, great fight. It's going to be a great fight. Xavier, coming over to you. First time on this platform, ESPN, so congratulations. Going up against a guy like Robson, how, does this, uh, how do you feel? What does this mean to you? And talk a little bit about your opponent. First of all, I want to thank Top Rank for the opportunity. I want to thank my manager, Rick Morgan, and, um, and ESPN for having me on this platform. I'm excited. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm really motivated right now. Plus, I just had my little girl. And, um, you know, this is a different, uh, this fight means a lot more to me than any other fight right now because I got to fight for my little girl. Talk about that. Congratulations, father, brand new father. Walking into the ring first time as a father, that's got to mean something pretty cool. Huh? Yeah, man, she's my motivation. I, I don't know how to explain it, man. She just makes me happy. And uh, my girlfriend's been sending me pictures of her. And uh, every time I see her, I just... It makes me more hungry, man, because I really, if I don't shine, she don't eat. That's how I think of it. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Hey, your last two fights were really tough battles. Uh, what did you learn about yourself coming out of those two uh, victorious fights, by the way? You're still undefeated, but the last two were really, really tough fights, and big showcase for you. Here's another one. Those fights uh, got me this opportunity. I feel like, you know, God has a plan for everybody. I feel like I had those two fights for a reason. That's to get me ready for this moment right here. I'm going to come back to Robeson really quick. Uh, one point you were coming up, you were coming up as the hyped next champion in this division. Obviously a minor setback with Valdez. Uh, what is your opinion of your opponent? You mentioned that it's going to be a tough fight, but now all the talk has sort of leaned in his direction. Okay. Você, como você se sente vindo de tão Uh, alta importância para ser o próximo campeão do mundo a sua derrota para o Valdez foi só um pequeno desvio no caminho mas ele quer saber agora cara a cara você falar para ele o que você acha do seu adversário bom é eu sei que em minha vida eu já passei e superei muitos obstáculos então Valdez foi apenas um obstáculo em minha vida né um obstáculo que eu superei tenho certeza que superei 
e agora diante de um bom adversário que eu vou lutar agora, que é o Martinez, eu tenho certeza que ele se preparou bastante, se dedicou muito e também quer vencer essa luta, assim como eu quero muito, me preparei muito para isso, eu e minha equipe, saímos de casa um ano passado praticamente, fiquei longe de minhas filhas, longe de minha família, me preparei, me dediquei, tenho certeza que estou pronto para enfrentar o Martinez e fazer uma grande luta e assim seja uma grande vitória. Yes, for sure, Valdez was just a, a little step back, but uh, there is no problem. He's ready. He always overcome all the obstacles in his way. He thinks Martinez is a great fighter, very tough. He won the winning as Hobson wants the winning, so both will fight for their lives inside the ring. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I wrote down here you started boxing at seven with Ray Woods still in the corner with you today. How instrumental has he been in getting you to this point? Uh, Ray's, like, Ray's a whole, uh, like another dad to me. You know, I've been with Ray since I was little, and uh, I tell everybody that's a bond that can't be broken. Um, I mean, we've gotten this far, and I told Ray uh, the other day before we left Sacramento, I said, Ray, we're almost, to the, we're almost there. It's not the finish line, but we're almost there. You're saying almost there. Obviously, Robson's a former title challenger. Uh, he's an Olympic gold medalist. Maybe your toughest battle. Uh, to date, we'll see. Uh, big step for you. Does this sort of guarantee you a title shot, in your opinion, if you can uh, come out victorious on Saturday night? I think so. Um, I'm not overlooking Costco. He's a tough opponent. Um, right now, the main focus is this. And then after that, you know, I hope to get a title shot or um, at least stay busy, you know, for the rest of the year and then get a title shot. Um, but like I said, I'm not looking past Costco. Right now, he's the main objective. I'm going to ask the same thing over here. How important is this fight for Robes and in order to possibly secure another title shot in the division. Quão importante essa luta para você para você conseguir outra chance pelo título? Essa luta para mim é como se fosse é, o próprio título mundial, né? Todas as lutas para mim eu nunca subestimo meus adversários. Eu me dedico bastante para poder lutar com ele, me mostrar minha melhor forma física e técnica, o melhor que seja. Então, cada luta para mim, cada Luta é, é como se fosse uma final, um campeonato mundial. Então, eu treinei para ser campeão mundial e assim eu venho fazendo. Ok. Every fight for me is a world title decision. So, this fight is the most important of my life. I train a lot. He said before, I forget to say, he said that he left his home and his family last year. <laughs> so, he's away from his family. So, now he's focused. He won this win. Is very important to him. Is in now is the most important fight in his life. I'm going to wrap up with this final question for both of you, and we'll start with Robson. Uh, I mentioned it to the other guys who were just here before you. Uh, as we start a new year, and this is the first fight for you guys in, in 2022. How special is it to call yourself a professional fighter and have the opportunity that you have on Saturday night? Essa é o, é o início do ano, então, uma das primeiras, a sua primeira luta do ano. É um ano novo. Quão especial é essa luta para você no sábado à noite? É muito especial para mim essa luta, pelo fato de eu estar lutando contra um grande atleta, um experiente adversário, então, tenho certeza que será um início de ano muito importante para mim. Uh, it's very important. Uh, he is a great athlete, a great boxer, very strong. So that is a very important beginning of the year. Xavier, same question for you, man. How honored are you to call yourself a professional fighter and step into the ring on Saturday night to start 2022? It's a blessing because not everybody makes it to this level. You know, it ain't easy. Uh, you know, everybody wants to be here but don't want to put the work in. And, you know, I've been putting the work in. Um, I'm excited. Like I said, you know, this is a big opportunity for me. It's a big blessing. You know, I can't let it slip up. Well, listen, guys, we are honored uh, to have you with us this weekend. Truly honored, excited for this battle Saturday night. I'm going to ask you to leave your microphones on your seats, and you're going to go down front here for your fa first face-off of the week. Again, to everybody tuning in, this is boxing. This is top rank, and it all goes down Saturday, January 29th. Coming to you live from the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino here in beautiful Tulsa, Oklahoma. It is a 10-round junior lightweight eliminator between undefeated sensation Xavier Martinez and Brazil's Olympic gold medalist Robson Cossessao. Again, 9 o'clock central time on ESPN. The undercards begin at 5 central on ESPN+. 
This is a battle you do not want to miss. 11 cards on the fight that lead to this main event. Martinez, Conceição. This is boxing. This is top rank. We'll see you tomorrow for the weigh-ins.